Hi guys. So today we'll see unstructured data in the data cloud. So we have three units. Let's see one by one. First, we have a get started with the unstructured data in a, a data cloud. So just we have to create a playground. Just to click on this uh, create a playground. Right, it will send the email. So just uh, reset that uh, email and then after verify this password. So refresh the page once. Done. So then after what you have to do, you need to connect the playground. Just click on here, connect the playground, and whatever the a username and password you given for the new all, just enter that username and password. Right. So this is the username. Just uh, copy this. Next, click on here, connect the playground. Then click on here, login. Click on here, hello. Yes, save it. That's it. And then after, so what you have to do, you have to launch this uh, playground. Click on here, launch. Now, so once you launch your playground, then verify this step. done so we completed first unit let's go for the second unit so what you have to do just to have to go to the app launcher in the app launcher we have one application that is the data right so go and open that application so just you can go here app launcher enter the data we have the data cloud application is there Click on that uh, data cloud. Right. So here we have a data streams tab is there. Click on that uh, data streams. See here. Select that uh, data streams and uh, then click on the new. Click on the new and select the Salesforce CRM data source. Click on here new. How to select a uh, Salesforce CRM uh, source. Then click on the next. Leave the default Salesforce org selected. Select the knowledge data bundle. Click on the next. So how to do? Knowledge. Right, knowledge data bundle. Click on the next. Right. Click on the next. Right. So everything you have to make a default. Okay. Then once again, click on the next. Then final, you have to deploy this see how deploy button is there now click on the deploy
function. So we successfully deployed. So now we can go and uh, verify this step. Done. Let's go for the third unit. Right. So next, what we have to do, go to the, we already in the data cloud application. In the data cloud application, we have a search index is there. Go here more. Here you can find out the search index of object. Select that search index. Select that search index. Then click on the new. Then click on the new. Top right we have new. Click on that new. Next, uh, you have to select uh, advanced setup. Select that advanced uh, setup. Then click on the next. So select a vector search, the knowledge article version MDO, then click on the next. So, right, so vector search, next one is what? Knowledge article version MDO. See, knowledge article version. Then click on the next. Then click on here, next button. Next, on uh, selector fields to the chunk page, click manage fields. So just to click on here, manage fields. Next, so select all fields and save it. Select all fields, then click on here, save. Done. Next, to leave the default uh, chunking strategy and then click on the next. Right, then click on here, next. Right, then here click on the next and deleted fields also, nothing to add. Click on the next. Then on the search index configuration detail page, replace the auto generator search index configuration name with the my cow. Right, so this one, remove this. Right, then click on here, save button. Top right we have save button, click on the save button. That's it. Now you can go here, next step. Okay, so confirm the search index statex is ready from the data cloud, right? So click on uh, that uh, data explorer, right? We have a data explorer object is there. Click on that uh, data explorer object.
So from the object uh, drop down menu, select the data a model object. Here, a data a model object. Right. So from the object field, select a so my cow chunk. Here, this one. Now we'll see the data. Right. Uh, so now we can go and uh, select uh, index. Done. Right. Uh, so now we can go and check this challenge. Done. So we successfully completed unstructured data in the data cloud.